Welcome back. Today, we're going to edit Harrisonburg, Virginia. This is a town um, to mostly the west, but also a little bit south of the D.C. area. This is in the Valley of Ridge, Valley and Ridge region of Virginia, just west of Shenandoah National Park. Harrisonburg, Virginia is special to me because I went to James Madison University as a freshman in college. So I do know the area pretty well, and um, it's a fun town. Definitely deserves to be well mapped on OpenStreetMap. So uh, recently I did a couple of edits in this area over here. This is called The Village. It's an area of freshman dorms, and this is the main stadium, the football stadium for the school, as well as the transit center. Um, but there's lots of other things to map around here, so we will be very busy. Let's hop right into it. I'm going to hit the edit button and jump into the ID editor. All right, let everything load up a little bit. I'm going to zoom in here. When you zoom out in the ID editor, it's just always very slow. It kind of grinds to a halt there. Okay, I'm actually going to switch right into the VBMP most recent imagery. This is my favorite imagery to use in Virginia. It's a pretty well up-to-date um, imagery uh, that's done by, I believe it's the state of Virginia, and they do a pretty good job. I like their imagery overall. It usually seems to line up very nicely with the um, data that I have, and I generally just have had a good experience with it. So that's what we're gonna use today. Okay, looks like things are lined up pretty well. I did this section over here, uh, I think it was just yesterday, actually, last night. i um, going to adjust this just a tad, sort of get this closer to the center of that roadway there. Okay. That certainly feels like a one-way situation. I think that is a one-way, because those are all one-ways. Yeah, okay. Is Duke Drive a one-way? No, that looks like you can go both ways on it. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can drive. No, that looks two-way to me. Okay. Well, anyways, someone else can figure that out. Let's get this marked crossing in. Okay. Ba bang we'll get that queued up there connect the features you know what I'm gonna center that road and then I'm gonna straighten that line again we're gonna mark that center node as a marked crossing marked crosswalk excuse me let's get that other crossing going I am going to put that um, let's put it right there and then let's add an node there and connect that like that. That looks pretty good to me. We'll add a marked crossing here and connect those features. This is also a marked crosswalk. While we're here, we might as well say that both of these are longitudinal bars. And I'm happy with that overall. I'm going to add another node or two here just to make this sort of curve outwards in a nice way. I just like rounding out those shapes when I see it. Okay. We have the sidewalk. It looks like it might abruptly end over here. I think the idea is that most people would either be accessing this parking lot to the south side, or they would choose to cross right over here and join onto this more established footpath over here. I did mark that as a sidewalk because it does run along Bluestone Drive here. I'm not entirely sure how committed I am to that tag, but let's leave it for now because I don't really see any point in changing it. Let's get this guy in here. This is a footpath. We're going to do a marked crossing across this parking aisle right over here. This is coming in really nicely, although it kind of feels like I'm cheating because I worked on this area yesterday. So I kind of had in mind what I wanted to do. But that's the that's the fun of OpenStreetMap, right? I mean, the more you invest in an area and you study the imagery and you know what work has to be done, 
you can often come in and have a very effective editing session. I am going to tag this as a sidewalk because it's running parallel to that parking aisle. And we're going to run this marked crossing across that parking aisle. Okay. And this is more sidewalk here. This, um, this parking lot, if I remember correctly, was built just before I got there, maybe in 2018, maybe 2017. All right. That looks pretty good to me. Let's get this guy, make sure we don't accidentally connect to that. Um, I guess it'd be a culvert of some sort. What is it tagged as? Yes, it's tagged as a culvert under the parking lot. Whoever went to the effort of tagging that, I am impressed. It looks like they either knew or pretended to know exactly where that culvert goes, which is kind of fun. Okay, I don't really know where this guy is going to be, so I'm going to just put it like that, I think is fine. Marked crossing, connect the features. Nice, nice. I forgot to tag this as a sidewalk. Let's select these nodes, holding down shift. Oops, <laughs> if you hold down shift and you just drag anywhere, it'll start drawing a geometry, which is not what we want. Okay, we're gonna mark all of those as marked crosswalks, and those are all using longitudinal bars. I can't tell if they have tactile paving and I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Oops, escape, I'm gonna do that again. I need to start using the shortcuts for the point, line, and area um, functions. That's gonna be one, two, and three respectively, but it's just not really too hard to reach up there and click on the button, so that's what I'm used to doing. Okay. Oops. Depending on how this editing session goes, we might come back to this area and do these little garden and grass patches because I think it would actually make this area look much more pleasing on a map renderer. And I do really like sort of covering land use, especially in these just really well, uh, well frequented areas, right? There's a lot of people navigating in and around a campus. It does actually help with navigation in my opinion, if you can, if you can see on a map what's coming up and um, what sorts of things to look out for. Like the, the shapes of a grassy area might help you find where you are. Okay, clearly there's a lot to do over here, but first I'm going to disconnect this guy, connect it over here. That looks like a good geometry for that marked crossing. We're just gonna connect some of these nodes together because I think that they are superfluous. We're going to connect those guys and put them in the center of the road up here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna move this guy up just a tad. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna connect, uh, disconnect this guy by hitting split or the X shortcut. We're gonna select this guy and turn him into a marked crossing and then straighten him out and then change this middle node to be a marked crosswalk. Now we're gonna select this guy and make sure that they're a sidewalk. Let's put in one of these footpaths. Okay, this is kind of like a foot, yes, this is actually tagged as a pedestrian area, area, and I do like that because this is a pedestrian area. However, the pedestrian area has boundaries that are not very well laid out here, so let's fix that. I'm gonna go like this, and like this. Actually, no, I'm gonna go like that. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to add a footpath connecting into it. And I feel like that's a pretty reasonable way of showing what's happening here um, while also allowing um, different navigation editors and such to um, get people where they're going. And I'm also going to add this guy right here you are not a part of the pedestrian area. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put this guy right here. Um, I'm going to cut in like that. Oh, come on. Make a note. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, that's already looking a lot better. And let's just get that marked crossing in while we're here, right? Um, so I'm just going to put it in the center of the sidewalk here. And I'm happy with that. That's going to be a marked crossing. We're going to connect the features. I'm going to tag that as a marked crosswalk. And ba-bang, ba-boom. 
Bob's your uncle. Okay. Live, laugh, love. That's going to be a sidewalk. Okay, let's take a look at what this guy's doing. So, <laughs> I think this must have just been mapped before some construction happened in this area because clearly this is not what's actually going on anymore. We're just going to disconnect this guy and bring him over here. And then let's um, add a little bit of a better geometry to this. So I'm going to add a few um, middling nodes. I don't know if that's, if that's what you'd say, but you know what I mean. We're going to add some nodes to the center of this here to sort of place them along the sidewalk. I'm going to put another one sort of like right here-ish. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, and then we're going to get this little stretch right here. I'm not going to worry about building entrances right now. That's just not my focus at the moment. And I think that we would want to have better data about the shape of this building to know where the entrances are anyways. Just not a priority for me right now. Although I do think that's a great thing to add to OpenStreetMap, especially if you can add accessibility related data, like um, if a wheelchair can pass through that entrance, for example, that's something that I'm hoping to add to the map of William and Mary. Um, so as I learn more about how to use those tags, maybe I'll make a video about how to do that because I think that is very useful. But at the moment, it's just not something I'm comfortable adding and knowing that I did it correctly. Okay. Yeah, feeling a little bit better about this. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell, like did the person who previously mapped this just not have a good image, aerial image offset? Or maybe I don't have a good aerial image offset? Or maybe they were just being hasty? We may never know. Let's disconnect this guy from here. Let's connect like so. Okay, let's, I'm going to click on this. I'm gonna hit X to dis, oops, it was already disconnected. Okay. Oh goodness. We're gonna connect those, we're gonna hit S to straighten that, and we're gonna turn that into a mark crossing. That's what I intended to do. Let's turn that into a marked crosswalk. Did I specify that these were longitudinal lines? Uh, longitudinal bars, I did not, but now I have. Let's extend the sidewalk down to finish this little area. And I'm gonna head back down south because I know there were some little spots that I missed down there. Sure, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That'll get you where you're going, am I right? Actually, what I'll do is go like that. That looks a little bit better. Okay, um, this guy's weird. I don't really know what to do with this. I'm going to leave it as is just because I don't want to spend too much time here, but I think we could tag this as a pedestrian area or maybe even an outdoor classroom, depending on what's actually going on here. But... Uh, Let's not worry about that for the time being. We got bigger fish to fry. So I'm gonna take this guy, go like this, take it down here and connect it into this. Let's make sure uh, foot equals yes, which means that foot traffic is permitted along this. In fact, it kind of feels like, um, primarily a footpath, but I guess it is a service road, so I won't question. This is funny. It's kind of hard to tell what is and what isn't the service road, but uh, I guess we'll just kind of go with that. It feels okay to me. Okay, and now we found ourselves all the way down here. It happens, you know. Hmm. 
In the ID editor, there is a circularize button that you can sometimes use to create a circle. I'm probably going to use that here, but it doesn't really feel worth it along the sidewalk. I'm wishing that I could, though, just to make this easier. I feel like I'm freehanding this in a situation where I wouldn't always have to. But I think this is going to look just fine. And then we'll go like this. Okay. Yeah. Happy with that. Whoever previously put these um, crossings and footways around here, I think they must have just been new to mapping or something, or maybe it was just when things looked a lot different because there's just been a lot of inconsistencies and places where it doesn't really feel like someone paid attention to um, like what was really happening here. Okay, so this is a service road. I think that is correct. I am actually going to chop this, hit um, disconnect, and then I'm going to connect it to this guy. We're going to put that like here. Let's just add a couple of points here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay. And then we're going to chop that so that that one is separate. We're going to add one more node here. We're going to disconnect that because that definitely doesn't exist anymore. We're going to select that and just hit the delete key to get rid of it. Okay. And now I think it's just about time to hit this guy and hit circularize. And now we're going to move it into position so that it's nice and centered around that little turning circle there. And that's already looking really nice. I think that this is probably a one way situation around here. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just pop into street side. I'm pretty sure we would get Bing street side coverage here. Ooh, do we not? Oh my goodness, we get street side coverage along I-81, but we don't have street side coverage here in Harrisonburg. Aha, okay, there is some out here on Port Republic Road, but that's not going to help us in this situation. Okay, well, I'm not going to create data that I don't have, so I will just um, leave it as is, but I do think this is probably a one-way um, so that may have to be changed in the future. Okay, let's straighten this guy out and add two marked crossings here. Perfect. Alrighty, and then we've just got a uh, parking lot here that I'll do. This is funny because it looks like they've intentionally broken this. So I will cut this and hit D to disconnect it. Oops, grab the wrong one. And we'll bring that over there. Sure, I'll just use that node. It's nice to reuse nodes whenever we can, just so that we're not creating a bunch of new um, data pieces in the database if we don't have to. Might as well use the same stuff that was already there. Uh, sometimes it doesn't make sense to, though, if that data is so significantly different than the previous data. You don't want to confuse people by you know, using the same uh, ID for the um, for the data, but it's representing something completely different. Like, for example, if you have a business at a node and then that business goes out of business and you have another business come in, usually we're just going to delete that old node and we're going to create a new node, right? Because it doesn't make sense to, like, say, oh, that business turned into this business. That's, that's not really what's happening in that situation. Okay, that's a, oh, I said that's a marked crossing, but that's actually unmarked crossing because there's no street markings for that crossing. Uh, the surface is asphalt. This surface is concrete. Uh, we might as well just add a little bit of detail here. This guy is concrete and this guy is asphalt. And I'm going to try to make a mental note here as I move uh, northeast up that section. I will try to um, pay attention to any further sections and make sure that I also tag them as the correct surface. 
Okay. We're going to move this guy down here. This is just so far off. It's kind of funny. So usually in a situation like this, you're going to want there to be a right angle there, and that helps many navigation apps know that it is a turn. Um, sometimes they'll say, continue on to this street, and it's really confusing to the person who's driving because it's like, well, that's not a continuation. Um, so that's why it's often useful, um, if it makes sense to, to really make it a hard turn. Now, sometimes it's not actually a hard turn. You don't want to lie about it, but um, in many situations, it's just easier to do that if you can. I'm going to move that bus stop just a little further over. I don't know exactly where it is, but it's probably not on that path, although it might be over here. So I am going to actually, I'm going to hit Control Z and put it back to where it was because I don't know which side of that path it is on. So let's not borrow, borrow trouble, shall we? Okay, I'm going to cut right here. We're going to cut again right here. This is a section of sidewalk that is concrete rather than asphalt. This guy we're going to cut right. Oh, we've already cut it right. Oh, no, we did not. Okay, we'll split it right there. That's what it is. We're going to S to straighten that up. That looks a whole, whole lot nicer already. This is an unmarked crossing. And we're going to tag this node as being an unmarked crossing. Did I do that down here? No, I did not. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, right here, we're going to take this and we're going to split it. This guy is concrete. And this guy is going to be asphalt. I already has it tagged as asphalt. Excellent. That's right, because it inherited from the last time I specified asphalt. This is a section that looks like concrete, but I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Does that look like asphalt to you? I think it does to me. Okay, so this is a situation where it looks like this piece would be better suited down here. So let's just move it down. It's looking better already. We love it. Okay, before I forget, let's throw that crossing right over here. So this is a situation where there is a slight bend in the crossing, and I do want to keep that uh, just because I think it better represents what's actually going on. So we're just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to tag it as a marked crossing. Let's say it's longitudinal bars, and then I'm going to take this node, and I'm going to say marked crosswalk. Perfect. Let's just head on down here and get this sidewalk rolling, shall we? Oh my goodness, there's a lot to do here, isn't there? All right, so we're going to go from here up to here. This is a marked crosswalk. I'm first going to move this into place. We're going to hit S on this guy, then sort of correct it, and we're going to hit S again. Just kind of work it into place, if that makes sense. Okay. This guy I feel like would be better over here. Let's just sort of move. I'm already not really liking how I mapped that. So usually we're just going to want to straighten things up with the roads. Yeah, that's already looking a bit better in my opinion. Okay. Um, there's no real like right or wrong here, I don't think, but I'm just kind of trying to use my best judgment to create a good representation of what's going on. We're gonna move this parking aisle over here like this. That looks way better, doesn't it? Nice, nice, nice. That's gonna be a marked crossing. We're gonna connect those features and we're gonna tag this as a marked crosswalk. Oi, I'm already loving this. Just so much cleaner than it was. And we're going to also tag that as a marked crosswalk. And these guys, let's select these and make sure they all say longitudinal bars. Okay. Happy with that. I promised I would connect these sidewalks, so let's just get that done. I used to walk down here to get to Frisbee games when I was a student here. We would walk down here onto Port Republic. We'd take a left and go on down to the UREC area I think it was called to play frisbee so that was some good memories okay you stop right here 
We will finish that up in a minute. I want to come back down here before I forget and just get these lined up a little bit better. So we're going to put it like there. We're going to put that right there. Toss this bluestone drive up a little bit. Looks like it needs another node. Um, I guess we might be able to put bluestone drive sort of in the center of the shape of the drive. Right now I'm putting it down the like yellow striped line, sort of like the center of like the lanes. I don't know what's best practice to be honest. I don't think it's really mattering too much here, but it would be nice to get it right. So that's something I should look up in the future. Right now though, I'm comfortable just moving on. Okay, we're gonna move this guy like this. Yeah. Okay. See, a lot of the shapes are here. They just don't feel super tight with each other. Like the, the placing of everything is a little sloppy, to be honest. So I'm just kind of trying to tighten a lot of this up and make it it's sort of a term I think I made up. I don't know. I'm sure I heard it somewhere. But I like to say it. I'm making it internally consistent where like everything is relationally in the right place to each other. And that's my personal goal when I'm mapping stuff like this. So we're gonna go, okay, I already don't like that. So we're gonna pull that back out. Excuse me. Okay. We're gonna cut that. This is asphalt. Is it the whole way? Let's check real quick. Nope, I didn't cut it right there. Does this matter? No, it does not. You, oops, you are concrete. Clicked on the wrong thing, whoops. There you go. You are concrete and you bend a little bit more than you were previously bending. We're going to bring you down here like this. This is really a nice place. Okay, it was a rumor while I was a student here that they like would dye this pond blue, like when the parents would come to make it seem like really prosperous or something really idyllic. I have no idea if that's true, but I've always wondered like, do they really dye the pond blue? Like it seemed like such a, like a tale, you know, like such a, such a myth. So who knows? Maybe maybe we will never know. <laughs> I'm just going to straighten that guy up a little bit. Looks a little bit nicer. Okay. I'm not sure if I agree that this is a sidewalk. This is tagged as a sidewalk. The pink line, that's how I know it's a, it's tagged as a sidewalk is because the ID editor shows sidewalks as these like sort of salmon pink color. Okay. I don't know. This is just feeling a little weird. Okay. Okay. Weird. But better. Already looking a lot better. All right. This guy, did I tag it as, as concrete? No, I did not. Now I have... Um, this guy goes over here. We're just going to center that a little bit. Add another node to sort of add some shape to this a little bit. Okay, happy with that. That looks perfectly fine. Okay. Sort of following this trail down here a little bit while I'm down here, just sort of tightening things up. I'm pretty confident about where I'm placing things because if you look at this road, for example, most of the roads and a lot of the buildings line up so beautifully around here with this offset. And um, like Crawford, Port Republic, they're all like on East Weaver. So maybe someone just used the exact same like amount of error that I'm using right now, but I don't know. I think what I'm doing right now is 
as good or better than what was there before. So I'm, I'm comfortable with the um, changes that I'm making. Okay. What are you? What are you? I'm going to bring you. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to disconnect you. I don't think you really should be that far down there like that. I think that looks a bit better. I'm already really, that's already at a strong angle. I think it's at enough of an angle personally. All right. See, this is so like, to me, this is just so fun. Like I just get to make all of these little corrections. A lot of the paths are already here. So I'm not like double clicking all the time, trying to like get everything like just initially in place. No, I just get to chill out, carefully put everything into a nicer sort of position relative to each other. Just a very relaxed vibe here. I love it. Okay, let's disconnect you. Let's bring you down here. It doesn't really make sense to me to um, put such a harsh angle on the intersection of these. I just don't really think it looks quite nice. And as I was saying before, similar to roads, navigation apps just don't often respond well to those harsh corners unless you literally need to turn a corner to, to turn onto the onto the adjoining path, which just usually isn't the case. So anyways, that's why I like to avoid it. Okay, already feeling so much better about this. We're going to mark this as a marked crosswalk. Wow, we're already all the way up to almost 100 changes. Wowie zowie. Okay, we're going to move this guy over here. We're going to, oops, this is all one. I'm going to split it, and then I'm going to straighten each side of that split once I have this like that. That's not a sidewalk, you silly. Okay, we're going to put that like right there. This is going to be so nice. I'm so excited for whoever's going to see this map next and go, oh my gosh, it all lines up so beautifully. All right. We got this sidewalk looking so much better. We're going to straighten that up. Oh, yeah. Majorly excited about this. Bob Bohm. Let's just get one more node in there. And um, when I do split things out based on surface like that, I like to just tag them as such so that it's obvious to the next person. Even if I'm not going to tag all of the surfaces, if I'm going to some of the effort, I might, might as well go the rest of the way, right? Sure, that's fine. I'm going to disconnect you. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to leave you connected and then I'm going to extend you or uh, continue as ID would say. And I'm going to leave that for now. I think that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to get this parking area sorted. That's weird, but that's just how it is sometimes. That's just how it be. Okay. I don't know. This is a weird one. Okay. I don't know if I'm helping or hurting this at this point. I don't know what is to be done here. That's okay. This is a funny one. Doesn't this just feel like the geometry is impossible to get straight with each other? Okay. I think that's as good as we are going to get at this moment. And uh, I'm going to leave the residential parking lot too <laughs> for another day. It does look like a little bit more work can be done there, but uh, let's not get too distracted from the original area that we were going to map. Let's select these crosswalks along Port Republic and just get those tagged. Ooh, okay. Looks like there's something going on there. What is happening at these nodes? Let me just move this guy over here. 
That is better anyways. And let's move this guy. Okay, what is going on over here? Let's get this guy mapped a little bit better here. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so this I'm just going to connect those. Aha, so those are... So that's a weird situation, right? Where it's like this marked crosswalk was connected to Bluestone Drive, good, which was also connected to this boundary of the university grounds. And this is one of those pet peeves I have with OpenStreetMap data sometimes where it's like the boundary of the university is not decided by this marked crosswalk. Like those are independent data points. Yeah, they're going to be in the same area. Like I understand this marked crosswalk is on the edge of campus, but I don't think it's necessary or helpful to uh, connect those nodes literally in the database to show that they are related. So what I'm gonna do is I disconnected them from each other and I'm gonna hit the S button to straighten this marked crosswalk. And already, I just feel like it looks a little bit better. Let's get rid of that node because it's not doing us any good. And then let's move this guy down a little bit just to sneak it out a little bit and get those things um, just better aligned. And then, okay, these are marked as type equals zebra, which is a slightly outdated um, tag. So I'm, I'm actually going to grab all these and mark them as marked crossings. And then it says only road markings. Is that true? Let's find out. I think that these have traffic signals on them. Indeed they do. There's a traffic signal right there. This is a nice view, actually. You can see that pond I was talking about. Um, this is at Port Republic on the north end. That's over towards that parking lot we were looking at. And then that's over Highway I-81. Or Interstate 81, I guess you would say. Okay. But what we're here to see is if these traffic, uh, these crosswalks are all signaled, and they are. You can see a signal right over there. There's a historic marker there. We should put that in at some point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select all of these again. I'm going to just get this out of our way. And I'm going to say the type is crossing with traffic signals. And I'm actually going to do the same with these nodes. Oh, you know what I'm going to do actually is select these. And okay, yes, so it's crossing with pedestrian signals in ID marked crossing and crossing with pedestrian signals are sort of like different categories of crossings. So I just wanted to make sure it picked up on that. And it did. That, my friends, is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to move you just a little bit over. And I am going to delete you. And otherwise, of course, there's more sidewalk to be mapped here. But we can't do everything today. There's got there's going to be a part two, right? So let's not worry about it. Let's just get back to campus. So I'm just going to straighten out this sidewalk a little bit. Looking snazzy. Oh, I think I meant to uh, put this parking lot in. Let's do that really quick. Um, okay. And so these are supposed to be like accessible spots for people who use wheelchairs or otherwise have mobility issues. Um, and it is sometimes nice to tag it as such. I often don't spend the time doing this just because I honestly um, don't have very much experience doing it. So uh, I sometimes wheelchair access. Yeah, see, this is a situation where like, I don't know if I'm using that tag correctly. I don't want to put something as wheelchair equals yes. And I didn't actually know my if I was doing, you know, and I, I don't want to lead anyone astray. So I'm just going to look up the tag for wheelchair really quick and let's learn a little bit about this tag. So wheelchair equals yes means that wheelchairs have full unrestricted access. Use this tag to mark a feature in the US as compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. 
Well, I do believe that, oops, wrong tab. Um, these like blue markings in a uh, parking spot, I think those are uh, representative of um, Americans with Disabilities Act. I believe those are, are related, like that symbol is related to that law. Could be wrong. Wheelchair designated. Okay, what I'm looking for here is that I believe there is a separate tag for the number of like um, ADA spots that there are in a parking lot. So let's see if I can get there. Amenity equals parking. Okay. Capacity disabled. Defines whether or not dis dedicated disabled parking spaces are available, usually reserved only for holders of a disabled parking permit blue badge in the UK. If known, the number of spaces can be specified. It replaces the key disabled spaces. I think that's what we're looking for here. I think that's exactly what we're looking for. Yes. Oh my gosh. Shout out to whoever made this. So what we have here, yellow and orange way, amenity equals parking space, parking space equals disabled. So someone is literally um, marking each of these spaces I'm not going to do that right now. I am going to do this white way right here. So this is going to be amenity equals parking, parking equals street side, capacity equals three, and capacity disabled equals two. We're going to do almost the exact same thing here. So I'm going to delete this tag because that wasn't listed. We're going to go uh, capacity, total spaces, three, accessible spaces, three. Right? Yes. Parking equals street side. I often forget to do that. Um, no, not lane. Street side. There it is. Okay. Yes. That looks right down here. Hopefully that's not cut off by my screen. But I'll read you the tags really quick in case they are. Amenity equals parking. Capacity equals three. Capacity colon disabled equals three. And parking equals street underscore side. So that's saying that this little parking lot right here has three spots total. All three of them are reserved for disabled persons. Um, and they have this like wheelchair specific um, or just like more space between them for people to move easily. So that's nice. Um, and then the style of parking lot is street side, which means that it's uh, perpendicularly parking on the side of a street. In this case, this roundabout. Cool. All right. Where were we? We were looking at... Okay, I'm not sure if that's a parking aisle, my dudes. That kind of looks more like a service road. Because the primary purpose of this isn't to park. There's very few, if any, parking spots right here. I think this is more of a drop-off route or maybe somewhere where deliveries can be made, like back in here. I'm not going to bother moving, um, adding that. Wait, did I even change that tag? What did I do? What's going on? Oh, because service roads can be parking aisles. Okay. I'm going to take off parking aisle. There it goes. That was funny. Usually when I hit service road, the road turns white. And in that situation, it did not. Okay. Anyways, let's get this marked crossing finished. So we're going to uh, split and uh, disconnect so that this guy goes like this. Then we're going to go like that. We're going to take this guy and split it. We're going to take this and this and merge them. Oh, their tags have conflicting values. Is that right? Well, let's see what conflicting values they have. Surface equals asphalt, highway, footway, footway, sidewalk. Okay, this says paved. Let's be more specific. That's asphalt. I know because I have walked on it many times. This right here, <laughs> this one-way service road, doesn't look like it exists anymore. Um, and there has been recent construction in the area, so I am fairly certain that I'm not uh, mistaken there. Okay, we're going to chop you. This is going to be concrete. And this is still tagged as asphalt. So now let's just get this laid in properly. 
and ba-boom, as Nardwar would say. Okay, and we're going to hook these up together, and we're going to chop this in half. We're going to say this is concrete. I slept on it, decided this is concrete. And we're going to continue this along here. Hit enter. We're going to hit S to straighten it. We're going to click on this and mark it as a marked crossing. It has longitudinal bars and its surface is asphalt. And then we're going to click on that center node and we're going to change that to be a marked crosswalk as well. Looking snazzy. Let's continue. Okay, this is a funny little spot with just a little bit of a footway here, but we might as well pop it in. Looking good. That's just going to be a footpath. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're over here. This is a situation where I'm going to cut that just to make it look a little bit nicer, and I think that does better represent what's going on on the ground. Now I'm going to shift to click both that end node and the sidewalk that runs parallel to the street. I'm going to continue it. And we're going to start working down here. And not for long because that footpath that we were working on before is going to connect right up into it. Nice. And I am going to hold down shift and try to merge these together. Did it work? They can't be merged because some of their tags have conflicting values. Well, their surface should be concrete. Now I bet you it's going to work. And I'm going to merge those as well. So I just held shift and I clicked on both of them. Now their surface has multiple values again. I'm going to say footway equals sidewalk. And now let's hit C to merge them. And ba-boom. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? I clearly mistyped that or something. Yeah, I mistyped it. Whoops. Sidewalk C is not recognized. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't sure what to do in that situation, but now it is. And that is all well and good. Okay. So now we're going to move this guy over here. Let's just add a little bit of shape to this. This is kind of interesting. I don't know what to do about this. This is a strange one. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of a smoother curve to this guy right here. And then let's think about how to tag this area better. My microphone keeps slipping. Hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, so we're going to just straighten these guys out first. Nice. And, oh, looks like I forgot to tag this line. It's just a line. That's not right. That's a footpath. You're not my mother. You're a snort. Okay. Ba boom. Just getting some nice footpath action here. I don't know. Felt like the right move. I think it's going to look nice. It kind of does, to be honest. Straighten this guy out. This is looking pretty good. It would be fun to map these little garden areas. I think that will be a priority for me moving forward. Ooh, let's get this footpath working. Why not? Now for something completely different. See, that's what's fun about mapping like this. You can just kind of hop around and make little improvements here and there. And like, you know, as long as you have a net positive impact, it doesn't really matter. No one's going to stop you. It's great. Okay. Feeling good about this. I have actually been down here before. I remember it being like just kind of this little like beachy spot I don't know like how well used if at all you know now that I'm thinking about it it's like I haven't been down there in forever I might actually just put that back 
I don't know. I sometimes hesitate about putting in data that I'm not really aware of. Like, I don't really know where it's passable and where it isn't. I mean, it sure looks like a footpath the whole way, but I'm going to let a student at JMU or someone else come in and um, fill that data in in just a in a better way, better than I could. Okay. That was a fun tangent regardless. That's fun. Someone curved that out pretty nicely. We will leave that. Okay. I can't really tell what's going on here. There's definitely a, a crossing here. I hate to say it, but I think I am going to leave this just because what's currently here isn't really like a problem for navigation. And I feel like we have bigger fish to fry, but this is an area I might return to in the future. It's like, it's not wrong. <laughs> it's not tagged super well, but like, I don't know. There's, there's bigger things for us to worry about. For example, this is an interesting area. So this is the Godwin Transit Center. And if you um, ever visit JMU and you come over here, you will notice that um, this is like where all the bus lines stop and end. It's like right here. So it is kind of a big deal of sorts. And um, I'm just going to sort of line these up with the centers of these. I'm going to disconnect these guys because that's not really where people are supposed to walk. And just kind of line this up like that. So basically, I'm not actually sure about... Um, oh, interesting. So I don't want to bother the geometry of this, like shape over here this pedestrian area so I'm going to disconnect it from the pedestrian area and then move it over over here I'm going to disconnect this and I'm actually just going to delete this guy because that doesn't really look like it exists it looks wrong okay we're going to disconnect you oops we're going to move you down like here ish and then I'm going to have you come around here like this that looks fine and then I'm just going to have you come straight along like here. Okay. That's fine for now. And then I'm going to connect from here to here. We're going to have a marked crossing. <sighs> okay. So what I'm thinking about right now is about how I might want to move this like here so that I can have a nice clean straight shot into here for this service road. And then we're going to connect those and I'll add the marked crossing node in the center just for completeness sake. And we're going to move this guy down here because the parking lot does extend. Okay, this is the kind of thing that bothers me sometimes. Why is the parking lot connected to the... Okay, and also this footpath quote unquote tagged as service equals driveway that's not a driveway like i'm sorry but it's not it just really isn't if someone were to drive through here they would use the street that's right next to it <laughs> so anyways we're moving that okay just cleaning this up a little bit. When you, It's always good to zoom in because sometimes you'll see stuff that you just wouldn't have seen the first time around. So that's always a good thing to remember. It looks like there are some like covered... Oh gosh, the edge of that parking lot is... Oh man, what a mess. Okay, so we're going to get that out of the way. We're going to move this guy down. I'll put that here for now. Let's get the edge of this parking lot disconnected from that sidewalk driveway weirdness okay and then let's get this cleaned up so this is going to go right here this is going to go right here yeah nice little bridge action over here Ooh, don't see train lines very much around here that's cool well you see them around Harrisonburg <laughs> when I say around here I mean uh, in my life Okay. 
That's that doesn't exist. Sorry, my dudes. There's not a crossing here. Sorry, my dudes. Okay. So where does that leave us? I sort of ran away from all of our problems that were over in that transit center, and I do want to return to them. So let's do that right now. Okay. So I'm feeling better her about this section right here. I think that looks fine. There's buses that come in and park between these like marked crossing type things. And this is like where you load onto the buses. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the roads here because like people aren't generally navigating through here. And also I think that's just something that's that's another fish to fry at another time if that makes sense so for now i'm just going to get the boundaries of this parking lot squared away i'm going to just pop it like right over there ish to sort of capture the shape a little bit better oh man okay baboom yeah why is that connected all the way over there it must have made sense at the time, right? Like, you can't really put yourself in the previous mapper's shoes. Okay. I think this is fine. I don't know if this really counts as, like, a parking lot anyways. What is it? What is it marked as? Okay, it's a bus station slash terminal, Godwin Transit Center. Nice. I still am not going to connect the edges to the um, to the sidewalks, but... I do think that's a better tack for what's going on here. Let's uh, do that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I like that. And then we are going to add a parking lot area right over here. Nice. And we just learned that that's street side parking. I often, as I said before, hesitate to put the parking type tag just because I forget all the time which one is which and it just doesn't feel worth it to me to look it up. Like, you know, I don't, I don't map for the cars, I'm mapping for the people, you know? But in that case, it was pretty easy to correct. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> all right, so what do we have here? You may have noticed that I have avoided figuring out the tags for these weird looking driveway things because it's a little scary, but I think it's time. I am going to split you and yeah, split you and delete you because I don't actually, it doesn't look like there is actually a crossing there at all. And we have dedicated crossings all over the place. Okay, things are getting spicy around here. I'm going to come back and deal with this intersection. <laughs> Hold me to that. I'm coming back. All right, let's take a look at what's going on over here. So I am going to put a thing right there. And let's select this guy. So this is a sidewalk. It actually not including you. This section right here is a sidewalk. It runs perpendicular, parallel to a road, or effectively a road, like what OpenStreetMap would call a highway. So um, this surface is going to be concrete for one, but the service equals driveway. I'm taking that out. I don't think that's a service equals driveway. It literally is tagged as motor vehicle equals no, all right? Like, this is not a driveway. Bicycle equals yes, questionable. I'm not going to change that because I don't know. But there's probably not any bikes over here. You're probably going to bike down the street, or at least you should in the state of Virginia. Uh, but anyways, driveway, definitely not. Over here, going to take that driveway tag out as well. Motor vehicles, no, that's good. What is this? tagged as this is also service equals driveway 
why? I'm going to open up the editor here and just take a look at this. So, or sorry, not the editor, the main Mapnik map. And let's just take a look at this footpath. Tweaked road structure added a missing one-way road exit lane to the transit center. Okay, that seems all well and good. This is version number four. Let's look at some of these previous versions. JMU legal boundary fixes six years ago by Jonah. Hi, Jonah. You're a cartographer in southeastern Virginia. Wow. Former board of directors, OpenStreetMap US. Jonah, I don't know if you ever see this, but uh, thank you for all the work you've done. It's fantastic. Six years ago, I question whether this was a service equals driveway, but that's okay. Water under the bridge, right? Godwin Transit Center. Yeah, service equals driveway has been here since the beginning. So that, it just is what it is. Evanator. I don't mean to call these people out in like a negative way. I don't mean that at all. It's just like, you know, trying to get to the bottom of why these tags were here in the first place and maybe understand more why someone um, decided to make those decisions the way that they did. Is this service equals driveway? No, that's not. Okay, that's good. And this, what is going on over here? Crossing equals marked. Okay. I'm just going to quickly clear this up because otherwise this area looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now. So I just figure if I get a couple things tweaked, I can sort of leave it alone for now. Okay. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I said I'm going to just tweak a couple things and then I spent 15 minutes tweaking all the things. Ooh. Okay. I said I wouldn't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. This whole area over here <laughs> in this section, um, it needs some work. So we're, we're going to work on that. But um, let's not do that right now. Let's get back to where we were in the transit center. I feel like it's so easy to bite off more than you can chew in these situations. And I, <laughs> we can only do so much tonight. I will be back. So don't worry. Uh, service equals driveway. We're going to take that off. Otherwise, I kind of decided to just leave some of these other tags alone because I don't know the rules. I'm not going to look up the rules right now about who can go where along these. I just know that's not a driveway. I've been to this area before and I know that people aren't driving down here. And, you know, just to be super sure, let's go. Oops, I had my caps lock on for some reason. Okay, service equals driveway. Whew, after all that clicking, it's hard to type. Okay. Highway equals service. Deprecated highway equals service. Tag service equals driveway. Okay. A driveway is a minor service road leading to a specific property. It typically branches from a bigger road and leads toward an entrance to a specific destination. It may end at or past the entrance, but either way, it gets close to its destination. It is rare for a driveway to be the way to access another roadway, but see pipe stems below. Never heard of a pipe stem. I love how the mapping community just has the strangest edge cases. When you're trying to map the entire world, there's just always an exception, and most of these situations have been figured out. Like someone has truly figured out nearly every possible combination for one of these. It just cracks me up, but also I'm so happy that this has happened. Okay. Note that driveways are defined by their function, not a quality. Driveways may have various quality from asphalt compacted to sand. Okay. Driveway will typically lead to a residence or business, but may lead also to research institute, court, military, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to get some water real quick. Okay. So, this is a minor service road. Um, I believe the nomenclature, or like the, the vocabulary of uh, OpenStreetMap says that a road is, is for vehicles. We can... We can check that. That's what's so fun about this wiki. It's very easy to um, to just double check things. Highway equals road. Okay, I could be wrong. It looks like the road word could be other things. 
Regardless, though, I think it's pretty safe for us to say at this point that a sidewalk um, around a transit area or just anywhere around a campus isn't really going to be considered a driveway unless it is, quote, (laughs) uh, leads to a specific property, branches from a bigger road, leads toward an entrance. So that is what we're looking for if we're tagging a driveway. Excuse me. Um, And as we could see, the editor um, does render, it shows a different color and like scheme for driveways. It's clear that that is a semantic difference. So in this situation, I think we do need to be careful about whether or not we call something a driveway. And I don't think that these um, sidewalks that we were looking at qualify. Okay, I feel like I've beaten that dead horse enough here, so I'll move on. But we are going to um, just take a minute here and correct some of these tags. So I'm going to remove this tag. We're going to remove this tag and connect. And yes, that's all sidewalk. Perfecto. We're going to move this guy out a little bit just to sort of move it away from that bookstore. And this is also going to lose that service equals driveway tag. We have another one over here. It is nice that the editor shows us those. It's clear that whoever designed this editor um, or the group of people that designed this editor have um, thought about some of the editing discrepancies that one should care about, one should pay attention to. And um, this is one of those that I'm really grateful to them for spending so much time getting that right. Okay, so it looks like I've ridden us of most of those service equals driveway situations. This is one that maybe could be considered more of a driveway, but I'm actually going to make the argument that it still is not. Hmm, Maybe this guy. Footpath service equals driveway. So hard to tell what's actually going on here in on the ground really wish I could get it's so funny I used to walk by here every single day when I was a student I lived over in the village area okay we're gonna just delete you and I'm gonna take you and I'm going to add another line and connect these guys hit enter to finish editing that we're gonna disconnect you and we're gonna put you right there that's gonna be a bit better Um, okay. So yeah, I guess I've decided not to worry about this right now. We'll get there. (laughs) But um, I I don't want to bite off more than I can chew, or at least I want to finish what I was working on previously before I start the next thing, which is the area around the transit center. This is strange. I don't really know where I should route these people. But I think going like this is a fair bet. And then I'm going to put like so. And we'll just round that out a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. So yeah, a lot of this really is just working on... Oh, that's funny. I guess there is a little bit of a bridge there. It's a very, very specific feature, but it's true. That that does appear to be a bridge. Okay. There's, in case you, the viewer, are not aware of this, there is a robust community of people who primarily edit railways on OpenStreetMap. Um, There's a website called OpenRailMap, I think .org, maybe .com, um, that is like a... A map, a slippy map, like an online interactive map, just like OpenStreetMap.org is, but um, its primary primary intention is to view uh, railway lines, and so it's using the OpenStreetMap data. It's the same. If you wanted to edit it, you would be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, except um, that map shows just like it, it highlights all of the train stations and railways and 
side tracks. I don't know all the all the words for what they're mapping, but it's a very cool community and they do a lot of really cool stuff. So anyways, if you are ever interested in seeing where the trains are in your local area, I am willing to bet that someone has spent some time mapping them all out for you and you should check it out at openrailwaymap.org. Uh, you know what? Why don't I just show you? Open. Well, I got you here. Railway map. Let's let's just guess that it's .org. Yes, I was right. Um, no, let's not use my location right now. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is a rail map of the world. And if we zoom in here, I'm going to zoom way in. Yeah, you can see like just it's a very different map, right? It's focused on... Um, on where the rail lines are and where these um, stations are and you can see the different yards and um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see. Like here's, here's a yard, for example, with all the different tracks um, uh, separately mapped and all that and different numbers along here. I don't know what all of this means, although you can see there's this really nice legend over here on the left side. So anyways, Super cool resource for anyone who's interested in mapping or learning more about um, trains and railways. Um, highly recommend. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, this is going to be crossing marking equals longitudinal bars. So uh, I was like, why does this line render as like a khaki, like brown color, right? Like that's sort of like this very light orange or whatever because it was tagged as a driveway. Cool. Uh, service is not equal to driveway. Let's do the same over here and over here and over here. Okay. And we're gonna straighten these guys out. I do actually like the placement of that end node over there, so that's nice. We'll just um, adjust that a little bit. You know, you just kind of play with them a little bit. I like just sort of getting them all to be a bit more aligned generally with each other. Having that uh, crosswalk right through the center of that intersection is really interesting to me. And I don't actually know how to tag that effectively. So this is highway equals crossing signals. You can see these tags, I'll do it right now are gonna be marked as uh, marked crosswalks. So we go like this, and it goes highway crossing, crossing uncontrolled. This does say it has a stoplight here. I wish, I wish, I wish I could see on the ground whether or not these are, um, these have signals. If this is a traffic signal, then probably, there are probably um, uh, traffic signals to go along with it. I'm just really not sure. I'm going to leave that for the next mapper. Um, if I ever come through here, I'll take a look and see. But for now, I feel like I have vastly improved the text around here, and that is what I set out to do. Okay. This is a little bit of a needless detail, but it felt like a good idea, so I'm doing it. I'm going to chop this guy and leave a little end right there as the connection onto those crosswalks. And then let's take this guy around, connect it right here, and let's go like this. This doesn't need to be here at all, so let's just remove it. I'm going to select that end node and hit the delete key to just get rid of it. And then we are going to um, take this guy and continue him down here a little ways. This is a really nice little place to go on a walk, by the way. It's kind of fun. I used to um, play Frisbee with my friends. We'd come down to this area and play like Frisbee golf through, uh, through these like dorm this dormitory area. Super fun. All right. Okay, that's weird, right? Like, it doesn't really make sense. I'm going to disconnect 
that right there. Okay. So if you look at the bottom of my screen, you can see that red warning that we've made too many edits to back up and we have made a lot of edits. Okay, this, here's a classic example of a building that's just clearly too big. It doesn't make sense. When you have an aerial image like this, it's usually taken at a slant. So when you're looking down at a building, usually you're not looking at it from directly above, right? You know, this is a satellite image. The satellite could have been directly above Huffman Hall, but it probably wasn't. It was probably somewhere else in space and it took a picture downwards and it got this like slanted sort of um, like offset image. And since these, this is a relatively tall building, I want to say it's three or four stories tall, um, you can see that it like it juts over and it casts like it, it covers some of the ground, quote unquote, beneath it, like behind it. Right. And so the person who met last mapped this put these out covering the outside corners of this distorted view. That doesn't really make sense because that's not really how it is. That probably comes in like that right like it can't go any closer than those cars are so we can't do this perfectly because we don't really know where this is but we can make it a little bit better so I'm gonna and then one trick that we can do here is we can select this guy and we can click this square button and it's going to square all of the corners of this feature. So I um, used to live in a building that looked exactly like this just a little bit further over and I know that all of the corners of this building are generally squared off. They're 90 degree angles. So um, just to make this look a little bit nicer we're going to do that. And as I said I'm not making any claims as to how accurate this new version is of this building but I'm pretty sure I haven't heard anything. I, I, th I think we've, we've only helped the situation. Okay, let's disconnect these and get a little bit more of a complex network going on here. So I'm going to, oh, you know what? We can just add another node and throw it on there. That looks perfectly fine to me. Yes, yes. Ba boom. Yeah, cool. That looks a lot nicer already. Now this guy, I don't love that connection, but I'm going to leave it because I don't really know um, what better thing to do in that situation. Okay, we're going to connect that. And then let's keep on going for a little ways. Oops. So before I continue too far, um, let's merge these guys so that they're all sidewalk. Oops. They can't be merged because their endpoints aren't connected. Oh, that's an oopsies. Let's make sure all these endpoints are connected. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. All right, merged the features, excellent. I realize that that should be connected, but a lot of things should be connected. And I think we've done enough uh, editing for this time around, so Let's just go through and, um, ooh, okay, that's a blaring mistake from the last time I edited that I'm going to fix really quick. Um, whoops. Okay, I'm, I must be a little tired here. Let's see, let's see what best move to make here. Okay. I don't love that, but it's fine enough for now. So we're going to merge those guys. Yeah.
Okay. Actually, I think that's overly complex. So I'm going to take this guy and delete it. And then I'm going to put this guy like that and put it like, yeah, that makes way more sense. I was like, that just looks redundant. And it was. So this just allows anyone who's navigating here um, just to pick a route a little bit more efficiently. Um, so from any direction, going any other direction, hopefully this makes it easy for you to see on a map where you should turn. So if you're coming from this way and you need to take a left, that's easy. But if you're coming from this way and you're about to go down here, for example, you can cross over here, take a left, and then ba boom, go on down that direction. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. Okay. See, that's the type of that that type of detail is really hard to see the first or second or even third time that you go around these places. So, I mean, it sounds silly, but sometimes I just like to go around, just scroll and just see if I can pick up on anything that I didn't catch the first time, you know? And usually there's more than one thing that I just kind of go, hmm, that doesn't look right. And, you know, if I was coming from this direction, it just wouldn't really look good on the map to decide which direction I need to go next. Da, da 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 You know what I mean? Okay, this clearly just needs to be worked on more. I need to add the sidewalk all the way down this Duke Drive, but I figure I might as well just straighten this out while I'm looking at it. Okay, remember when I said that I was nearly done? Let's take a look at these warnings. Okay, it doesn't look like we have too many warnings. This guy doesn't have any tags. That's because I separated these. I wanted this to be a footpath Wow, I can't believe that I just totally forgot to do that. We're going to merge these and we're going to make that a sidewalk because it goes along Bluestone Drive. In fact, while we're here, let's put this little node right here, disconnect it, shift connect it here. Uh, we're going to say highway equals footway. Um, wait, what do you mean multiple types? Oh, I've accidentally, I've accidentally also selected that node. Okay, let's try this again. So this is going to be a sidewalk. Ba boom. Yes. Okay, this is looking better. I am going to. So that needs to be like there. Yeah. Happier with that. Okay, this is a sidewalk. I want to connect it with this sidewalk. We're going to, um, I guess I didn't really spend much time down here, did I? Uh, these are connected where they don't have to be. <laughs> As you can see, these edits often just take a very long time. That's okay. Okay. Let's get this all the way down there, shall we? We're here. We can see the the end is in sight. Let's just do it. What are you? Oh my goodness. Disconnect. Connect a sidewalk. Oof. All right, we're going to have to deal with that shape another time. I'll just remove the driveway tag. And then let's just... Okay. I'm feeling done with this for now, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And um, these guys I noticed weren't marked crossing, or they're marked crossings, but really they need to be um, no road markings. No, 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 only road markings. Um, very close, but not connected to footpath. Oh, so it is. Okay. Okay, we're gonna straighten you out. Much better already. Okay, and hopefully that resolved the issue that it was warning us about. I think it did. Godwin Transit Center has no, oops. Thank you, ID, I'm so sorry. This is my ADHD at work. <laughs> Start something and, uh, and then I don't finish it. All right, uh, let's see about this, these 
connect noise and these need to connect as well so I'm just going to drag this right onto there now it connects okay so despite some of the mistakes that I just totally missed as I was going along I do still hope and think that this was overall a positive update to OpenStreetMap and a really fun sort of walk down memory lane to see all of the features um, around JMU that I used to use every single day, uh, different crossings and sidewalks and stuff. Um, this is a landscape that I spent a lot of time at, a um, lot, of, lot of fun memories here. So uh, this has been a good one really fun and I really hope to do another um, a part two of Harrisonburg at some point maybe we could go into town at some point and um, do some of the like main street areas of Harrisonburg it's a fun area I'm sure there's a lot of fun things we could add to the map down there but as you can see there's also a lot more of campus that we could work on a few more things we can tighten up a lot of grassy areas you can see on the screen right now that I don't believe have been mapped yet so lots to do and uh, definitely a part two coming at some point. So I hope you have a great one and take care. Have a good night.